prelude to the Lawrence, Kansas tornado. How it's looking. Got the film. Yeah, it's totally touches. weird how it's looking. Yeah, it shed it off a vortex to the north wall and the south the south there was like it's it's like the precip. Does it have a tremendous amount of rain around it? It's because this tremendous fog is obscuring like I, I can got, see it's it's embedded in the rain. That's what it looks like. I don't think that's it over the north side, sweetie. No, I don't Could either. Be. Back on the south, there it is, babe. It's on the south left side. Yeah, I see it. Take the bows. All those guys spinning like warp nine. I mean, like warp nine, like crazy warp nine. Coming up, it's just it's, hard it's and It's coming up. It's trying to get it's, it's spinning faster and faster again. Like I know. I can see. It looks like it's almost to the ground. I'm picking two. Get ready, to, get ready to hit the triple red alarm button. But I can't tell. I know it's coming right. Just stay right there. So with a couple of it is right there. It's a whole bowl. Just get ready to hit the button here as soon as you tell me. It's right there. Let's try to do it right here. Those guys spinning here. We are headed north on Highway 170 to Osage City. There it is, there's a cone trying to come down the southern flank. We are headed north to get a little bit further out ahead of the storm, and I'm turning back to my southwest to shoot this funnel. This is the footage enhanced in edit. And this is the footage as it was shot. There was so much rain wrapped around the funnel that it was difficult to see what was really going on. I thought, you know, I thought I was seeing some tags to the ground, but unless you're 100% positively sure, you can't call tornado on the ground. So it was visually, it was nearly impossible to really tell. So enhancing this footage, you can see what's going on. Leave a comment down below and let us know what you think, what you see in this footage. This storm did go on to produce the Lawrence, Kansas tornado. It was amazing how quickly this entire mezzo became rain wrapped. It was becoming very dangerous to chase. Coming down out of the north. Back on the southwest flank over there. Jeff and I continued east on Highway 31 to get to Highway 75 and stay out ahead of the storm. The rotating storm crossed about a mile behind us on 31. Heading north on Highway 75, we looked back to our southwest and we could see nothing but a big rain-wrapped mess. A now tornado-worn storm that was dangerous and difficult to chase. We had to make a decision. We turned around on Highway 75 heading south to watch the storm as it crossed our path. In zero visibility, I captured rotating rain curtains. This is the enhanced footage of the rotating rain curtains. And this is the unedited, as-shot version. The storm had increased in speed as well as strength and we watched as it rocketed off to the northeast. We made the decision to call off the chase, heading back to Oklahoma and home. 
At the present time at the posting of this video, the Kansas City Pleasant Hill, Missouri NWS office states this storm developed a tornado south of Clinton Lake in southwest Douglas County, Kansas. The tornado continued for 31.82 miles across and near Kansas communities. This estimated one mile wide tornado had a maximum rating of EF4 with peak winds of 170 miles per hour. This is Kat Petrosky. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this, our YouTube channel, Tornado Alley Video. As always, think smart, stay safe, and be severe weather prepared. Thank you for watching. I think the battery's gonna just hyper flood north like warp nine over the next two hours. Like no wind here. I know, babe, I know. We're just north of the boundary. Kathy just said she's, she's a big wind person. No wind, no tornadoes.